Hey Hasbro Pulse Premium members, it's great to see you for another 1027 event coming to you from the past because currently I am actually in London at MCN Comic Con. So for anybody that's in London watching this, make sure you come stop by the booth and say hi. We're going to have the reveals that we're going to do today uh, on stand tomorrow for you to all come take a look at. We'll put them out in the morning, so that'll be really cool. But uh, let's talk about some reveals, right? So I'm joined by Mark because clearly we can't talk about this one without talking about you. You were a little excited about it at PulseCon. I'm just a amazed actually that we're bringing uh, this character to light here and we're dipping into all the series over the 40 years. We're giving you a little splash of everything right now which is really quite the treat. Kind of the worst kept secret from the poster since we put him right in the middle and I know it's been a huge heated debate online about is this the commander is this the titan so let's just confirm it right now. Commander Magmatron this just looks insane. In all of his glory. All of his glory. I love the colors here. Like, yeah, the colors actually, uh, you know, right out of the series Beast Wars Neo. Um, we dipped in, as you can see, uh, Shusan worked on this item with me. And for those of you who don't know the Emperor of Destruction here, Magmatron, <laughs> he is an uh, enemy of Big Convoy in the Beast, Neo, uh, Beast Wars Neo series. He's, he has a lot of Megatron tendencies. Uh, he's quite charismatic in the show. <laughs> but as you can see here, he's made up of giant dinosaurs. So this is an Elasmosaurus. It's a Seasaurus that's named in the episode the Quetzalcoatlus, which is the biggest pterodactyl that was known to man in the dino prehistoric times, and the Giganotosaurus here, as you can see, striped on uh, the razor back here. Uh, the sculpting detail is just as the level of sculpting detail that we do with Kingdom, oh, which is, yeah, outrageously so good. awesome. So good. You might be able to catch it in the lights and uh, all the zoom-ins here because it's really out of this world. The articulation here is bananas. I really pushed Shusan to get that waist swivel involved because it was really tough, obviously because it's three dinos combined into the huge robot that yep. you see here. <laughs> he does have his magma blade here. The, <laughs> he does actually come with some uh, blast effects that are... And not purple. Jeff Fire's blast effects. Not Jeff <laughs> Fire's Omega Supreme's blast effects, but they're adorned in a nice translucent Purple's purple. Purple um, Ops are amazing on this guy. All the deco uh, operations we did like just like the original toy and how he looks in the series, the original toy had like this crazy, really crazy green to it. So we kind of took uh, the animation cells right from the, yeah. the show and got that dark green dead on. He's got his huge shield. Uh, he does have all of these awesome like translucent globes that show the Predacon symbol because oh. he is the leader of the Predacons <laughs> here. And uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. There's so much here, right? I love the face. I love everything. Um, getting to do, and like, it's not traditional, and like, we're getting a bot in the combined mode, but they only have their dino mode, and then there's like a secret hidden third mode, kind of, that if you played with the original toy, you know there's a thing you can do. Ah, uh, the, the <laughs> Magmasaurus mode. Yes, you can still do the Magmasaurus mode, not shown here. We actually ran out of product, and oh, yeah, please, let's well, yeah. Uh, showcase. So let's, let's the, talk about the box a little the, bit here. So, you know, closed here, package yeah. like your other commander, so very much similar to Armada Megatron that we did this year. Um, huge shout out to again to our package team so for Mario Christina and Amy they always do a great job uh, again this beautiful Legacy United branding this blue and orange that we've been doing so uh, we even got the capsule in there from the episode as you can see we got a little Denavi flying in the background <laughs> I mean there are a lot of nice little Easter eggs a little horn there uh, over at the bottom yeah, yeah there's a uh, this a good yeah stuff. this package uh, this is my favorite part right here though. Let's talk about this side of the box, right? I love the th illustrations on the side that kind of basically pulled right out of the episodes there, right when he's about to transform into his Magmatron robot mode. All the, the huge dinos come together. Yeah, it was great. It's, uh, it's, it's quite the combiner. Yeah, it's Mario talked about that when we were talking about the packaging, how he watched the episode to pull it together, and it's just, yeah. it brings that nostalgia. It's perfect, so. 
Well, <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> ship there. Yeah, yeah, great. that might be coming. You never right. know. So let's talk about pre-order. I'm sure everybody's wondering when that's going to be if we're showing it to you. So pre-order is today, 5 p.m. Eastern for Hasbro Pulse Premium members, um, and then 6 p.m. Eastern everywhere else where you like to buy your fan mainline items. Um, kind of an early Christmas gift, right? But it'll still not come out till next summer. It's just that we happen to be kind of ahead on this one. We wanted to get it in front of you and show you and talk about it, and we thought 1027 was a great place to do that. I, yeah, I was definitely pushing for it. As soon as we showcase the poster, and he's <laughs> kind of the big bad on yep. the poster, it's just, it's such a treat to go into Beast Wars Neo and get Magmatron at a commander scale. He's yep. just got so much articulation. It's it's a must have. And that kind of probably have. confirms a lot about who the Titan might be and when that's going to happen. Oh, and so maybe some news. News you will be coming know. eventually. A lot so. of Easter eggs here. All a right. lot of Easter eggs. So what we have we, we got into? one other thing to confirm for Legacy. Oh, so yeah. uh, we've been getting a few questions, so we wanted to confirm on this. This is our good friend uh, Voyager Silverbolt here. Yes, right? indeed. So uh, our friends at Takara Tomy happened to show him off um, in their Wave One of Legacy, which we wanted to just confirm for you that he is coming. He will be mainline retail for us. He'll be coming later in Wave 2. We'll recap on this when we do the full Wave 2 reveals in the new year, but we wanted to like officially confirm that it's not an exclusive Japanese character that we're not doing in our main line. It is coming in Wave 2, and we wanted to make sure everybody knew that. Worked on this guy with Hasui-san, and obviously the same method was is done here. Uh, super accurate sculpt, like f just like Kingdom uh, characters that we did. He's right out of the animated episodes of Beast Wars. And get your black arachnias because this the, the <laughs> pair make Yeah, that picture amazing... that Takara shared the other day is perfect, right? What an like... impact. What an impact here. And uh, Hasui-san actually shared with me, this is, I think, one of his first Transformer toys that he ever had. So oh. he really put a lot of love into this character, as you can see. It's, it's spot on. He does also have his feathered clubs here that store on the top and around the five millimeter post which look awesome in the deco with the overspray on them as well. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, look at that. I still remember last year, they came and visited us last December, and Hasui brought this model, and I was just like, this looks so good! Can't yeah, that was what, it was good, too, because it was one of the, the things that we worked on very closely with each other was trying to get this like sculpt detail correct to kind of blend in with the wings. The wing sculpt is just really <laughs> outrageous here. So I good. mean, Silverbolt is just a standout character. And this is, you know, yet again, we're killing it here in Legacy Land here. <laughs> another, another great way to celebrate 40 years for our Beast Wars fans, right? So, all right. So, new reveal-ish, I think we'll call it. Um, so the next item we're going to go into, uh, we'll do a little unboxing for you in a second on it. But before we do that, we have a stop motion. So we're actually going to roll that for you. And then we come out of the stop motion, we're going to do a little unboxing. Let's do that. So again, we uh, we revealed Code Red, as his name happens to be at Comic-Con, in a press release. It was like, hey, the hits are still coming. We're not done. We did our panel. Let's tell you about this awesome partnership we have with Netflix on this item. So uh, this guy will be available for pre-order today. Um, he happens to be a Target exclusive with limited quantities available from Hasbro Pulse. Um, 
but a really awesome, fun project to have worked on. Uh, I started it, another team member finished it, um, and I know from the design side, Brian, who we always mention, worked on this. Someday we will get him on a fan stream. <laughs> yes, I hope but so. I hope let's do so. a little unboxing. All right, so you can see we went kind of premium. It's got this outer sleeve. You can slide that off. Ooh, surfer Boy pizza. And then you get yourself a Surfer Boy pizza box, I love right? It. And it opens like a pizza box. So we're gonna we're gonna flip it a little here. Stranger gonna... Things was such a treat, by the it way. It was. That was a great such a good show. show. Yes. So you you open. Open up the pizza box, and oh! here you can see we have a Surfer Boy pizza van. <laughs> it's, uh, it's in there. We oh, use this one for a photo shoot. Can oh, we yeah. get a little of the grease? You gotta get the grease. There? Yeah, when well, you get this amazing. in hand, definitely take a look at that. Um, you can see that there's some hidden. There's a Demogorgon in there. There's the Autobot symbol. Oh, really? Um, oh, I didn't even know that. There's so much good stuff this in is, there. This is quite the color here. I love <laughs> it's so this. Good. It's a licensed Volkswagen. It's oh, the official really? vehicle from the show. Sick. So there's a lot going on there. You can see here um, we can take this tray out it's uh it's i can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head but it's his famous style pizza with the jalapenos and the chicken uh, and the pineapple that's right so, that's right um oh, your accessories come in a tissue there's some pizza crust yeah, on the inside the graphics on <laughs> this box are really cool really and then fun. the other fun part here is we give you some 11 goggles right you can take these off to block your sensory <laughs> so you can go in the, your own ice chest have fun with that i um, love it and then your accessories come wrapped in this wonderful tissue paper so you know where they are. Um, the Surfer Boy Pizza! Surfer Boy Pizza, so you can see on his top, he has the Surfer Boy Pizza logo. Uh, when you convert him, we only actually happen to have one copy at the moment, but you saw it all in the video, right? I tried so, to transform it, you weren't going to be here all that here. So you can flip up, you take off this front. Oh, this is very cool, can we see that? It's got like a little Energon axe, and then there's a little Surfer Boy Pizza plug-in on the other side. So good. That's pretty awesome. So I probably I'm should have read the instructions. I'm on assuming this. the character can actually hold the. He can. So on yeah. his back, you saw it in the stop motion. They, he pulls him, pulls him right off his back, and he uh, he hears the Demogorgon sound, and you're like, ah, he's getting very excited. <laughs> you can use this flame to cook your little pizza if you want to. Oh, you know, for wow. fun. So there's so, a lot of accessories this, here. This also be kind of comes with you know a cannon for him. Um, does it? Yeah, I'm, I'm a little stumped, because I don't Oh, push out, there you go. <laughs> you should probably look at the instructions. I'll no, just give it to the designer. Right. It looks like a fold out here. <laughs> there's a tab. There Boom. it is. Boom, oh, there's, there's a blaster. There it is. Server boy blaster. And you can put your flame on. Oh, you know, blast see, it's pretty good. Ooh. If you want, you can drive around with that on the roof of the car. Yeah, for fun, so. well, I mean, you're still battling Decepticons, even though you're <laughs> in Stranger Things. Why not? Yeah, so it's perfect. You know, it's great for the upside down. So I love it. I love it's it. so good. I love it. That looks really good. Brian did a great job here. He did. It was a good. It was a fun project, um, you know. And now we have another Volkswagen van. Who knows what we could do with that? Oh boy! Don't get <laughs> on the pre-tool, redeco, <laughs> and conversation. I know you guys like to do that out there. Perfect. All right. So, quick recap. You want to go quick? Yes. Cool. Can I grab some? Yeah, sure. So, uh, Magmatron, um, your commander for Legacy United 2024. We're super excited about that. Uh, clearly. You know, not really much of a surprise after showing off the poster art. Confirming Silverbolt Wave 2. We'll be back with more info for that. Pre-order for him in the new year. And then our good friend Code Red here from Stranger Things. Uh, this is just fun. And if you know anything about the show, they always say Code Red to each other. So that's where the name came from uh, for the character. But it's very... Um, Inspired by the pizza. Oh, look at this. These things are so big. I can't I don't even have room <laughs> on have enough the room. platform here. Look at this. Amazing. All right, so pre-order info for today. Uh, Commander Magmatron available uh, 5 p.m. Eastern for Hasbro Pulse Premium members. Everywhere else at 6 p.m. Eastern. Our friend Code Red um, will be available in limited quantities on Hasbro Pulse as well as tar uh, Target.com. Silverbolt Wave 2 Legacy, we'll talk about him in the new year. But hey, while you're on Hasbro Pulse, in case you didn't know, we have some really awesome new shirts. This was kind of you know inspired by a certain famous artist and oh. a certain famous painting. You got a little Optimus versus I Megatron. Like going on here, I love so the style. You can make sure you get some of your fan merch while you're on Hasbro Pulse. I want as well. one. Very <laughs> vibrant colors. I'm in. It's pretty good. I like. I mean, we have some good shirts. We had a good San Diego Comic Con one, and also like a kind of rock poster one. So while you're on there, make sure you check out the Transformers fan merch and give that uh, a go. Make yourself look, you know, awesome. Represent the brand. Yes, please so. celebrate the 40th year anniversary here yeah. because this is quite the plethora of goodies here we're showing you guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys, uh, you know, order in. Fill out the collection, get yep. put in those holes. I know so for those of you who have the originals, 
Take those down, place these <laughs> new ones in. Perfect. And for everybody wondering, they're like, what about Studio Series 2 Legacy uh, events yeah. in a row tomorrow? <laughs> MCM <laughs> London, so we're going to have some awesome more news for you this weekend. Studio Series Wave 1, all of that taking place during our Hasbro Action Brands panel. For anybody that's in the area, come hang out with me and the other rest of the team members that will be there representing Hasbro tomorrow afternoon. So, till next time, Transformers fans, thank you. We will see you soon. <laughs>